hey guys welcome to this video in this video we're going to be testing our github copilot so if you don't know what github copilot is it's an ai paired programming tool that allows you to code faster so it basically writes like a ton of code for you and we're going to be testing now how smart it is the kind of questions you can solve using some lead code problems so right here on my screen you're going to see that i have three tabs and in each of these three tabs i have three lead code problems and they are in sequence of their difficulty so the first one has a difficulty level of easy the second one has a difficulty level of medium and the third one is hard so i'm going to give github copilot all of these problems to solve and we're going to see if it can solve it without any help from us and if it can just automatically generate the code to solve this problem so let's start with the easy one it says palindrome number it says given an integer x return true if x is a palindrome integer so basically a palindrome integer is like a bunch of numbers that reads the same backwards as forwards so if we have like 151 if we turn it backwards it's also 151 so that's a palindrome integer so basically it says if we give an input 121 then it should output true because that's a palindrome number and if we give it something else that is that doesn't meet that requirement it should output false so this is something we can do but let's see if github copilot can do it so what i'm going to do is just to copy all of these instructions all the way to the bottom and then i'm going to come into visual studio code i just created this python file here and i'm going to paste that instructions and i'm actually going to comment it out because that's how we give instructions to github copilot you comment out what you want it to do and then i'm going to take this template code right here and i'm gonna see so it gives us this code i'm gonna press tab to select that code or to use that code now this is what it generates for us as a solution to this problem what i'm just gonna do now is to copy all of this code right here and just gonna paste it in here so i'm gonna say wrong code and let's see if it works boom as you can see it, the code works successfully whatever i did here was correct because it says accepted and our input is one to one and the output is true and it was expecting an output of true so over to the next question which has a difficulty level of medium let's do exactly the same thing we did for the first question let's just copy all of this instruction and let's paste it in here and comment it out and now i'm going to take the template code and paste it in there also and let's see what it generates for us so it generates this very short code and let's copy that and paste it now let's run the code and as you can see it also says accepted so that also works works successfully and easily and let's go over to the third question which has a difficulty level of add now let's see if it's gonna have any problem solving this or it's also gonna do that immediately so we copy that also paste it in there and let's copy the template code as we did for the others so it gives us this chunk of code let's press tab and now let me mm -hmm. just copy all of that just gonna select it all the way to the class function class and the function so i'm just gonna copy that here and paste it now let's run the code and see what it gives us so as you can see it also says accepted so all the three questions we gave it with all the three levels of difficulty worked successfully and i must say it's a pretty useful tool and quite accurate I've also used it in like while just building my own personal projects and some recommendations it brings are very useful so it's actually a very good tool it's not that new because it came out like sometime last year or I only recently started using it and decided to make a video on it but you, you guys can also check it out if you go to copilot.github.com then you'll be able to sign up and just sign in with like your github account or something like that i'm not sure if it's still on beta because when i signed up last year it was on beta so they had to give you know everyone access uniquely or specifically 
but you can just sign up and you know test it out quite a useful tool and yeah that's gonna be all for this video as you can see with all the tests we did it actually crushed all these political problems which is quite impressive and thank you for watching this video if you liked what we did here don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one